What's up, Dama community? Today I'm joined with my friend Audrey from All Around Audrey. And today I'm gonna to be teaching her how to build some domino tricks. So I have five different tricks that I picked out, and these are just simple tricks that you can use in your domino step. Since you've never built dominoes before, yeah, I yeah, haven't. This will be really good for a starter if you're a beginner. Um, you can learn these tricks and use them in your setups. Yeah, so let's do this. The first trick that I have is called Sonomod. Now, this trick, it's pretty simple. Take a domino and you just put it on its side like this. And the next piece, you lean it against it right oh here. But the thing is, you want it to be kind of on the edge. Not like too close to the edge that it would fall off like yeah. this. And not too much that you have like a lot of room yeah. in between because if it's like too far up, it won't work and it'll just lock up. For example, these are overlapping too much. There's way too much space for it to actually work. Oh, wow. So you gotta be a little bit precise with it, um, but usually this much should be enough. So is that good? Yeah, that's good. Okay, okay. The next step after that, you just continue the chain. This one leans against the next one over there. Then the same thing, you just keep going on. Now, if you want, you can get a little bit fancy and angle it to make a curve. Oh. So just put it on the side, a little bit on the corner. This is how you do like circles and stuff? Yeah. Oh my gosh, wait. Sometimes it could be hard because you'll have to like balance it a little bit because yeah. it's not straight. But just try and like find the sweet spot and you should be able to balance it. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm in a top one. <laughs> this one's really nice though because if you accidentally knock it down as you're building it, only this one domino will fall because it starts here and it goes along this way. If oh. I hit it right here, this will still be standing. That's good. But if you knock down that, then the whole thing's gone. And there's no way to save that. <laughs> oh my gosh, all that <laughs> work down the drain. Yeah. <laughs> and then another cool trick with this, say you have, oh, <laughs> first fail of the day. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. This is the first for everything. <laughs> Once you have like a line going, if you want to be really fancy, you can put another domino. Oh, you're so fast. <laughs> I'm like still trying to get my second piece on. You can put another domino in between, kind of on the side, Ooh. and then you'll have a branch off. Wow, how did you like discover how to do all this? <laughs> Just watching videos and oh stuff. Oh my gosh, that's yeah. so cool. It's like a lot of experimenting. You have a split off there, and you could also do a split off on this side. And again, you just want to kind of balance it. Yeah, oh. just like that, you're doing it. <laughs> Very nice. I'm learning. And now to knock it down, you just take a domino line and put it directly in the middle. And then you just build a domino line in front of the horizontal domino. Okay, I could do this part. Yeah, this part is pretty easy. <laughs> you just gotta be careful not to knock it down early. Oh yeah. This is the finished product. And now you get to knock it down. Let's knock it down. All right, three, two, one. Okay, mine actually failed. That won't work though. If you're doing a split like this, you don't want to put it too far up. You want it to be like exactly on the edge. Sometimes they'll fall and land standing up. Sometimes they'll fall sitting down. But regardless, the trick still works. If you knock this one down, and then you oh, get the effect. there you go. So that's the first trick. That's a lot of like balance. If one thing just falls, it's like, yeah. <gasps> like better not have an earthquake happen right at that moment. <laughs> the next trick is called a domino wall. And Ooh. this one is like a little bit trickier. Oh, um, man. But I, I think you can do it. Okay. Yeah. You start out another horizontal domino, take another one, place it next to it. So I'm using a domino to make it one domino width apart. And then once you have that, you can just take away the marker because you don't need that. So you kind of like know how far a domino is. Yeah, from doing it like years, you kind you kind of get the feel for how wide it is. So you don't need to do this every single time. No, you go, that's yeah. nice. <laughs> and I also have a template, so uh, if I'm like really lazy, then I can just put in the template and it'll do it for me. That's cool. So you want to do this and then just continue the line, keep doing one domino with the part. Kind of like Christmas colors. <laughs> yeah, I just noticed that. Okay, so the next step, you take a domino and place it horizontally, like this. And then use two hands for this. <laughs> Very carefully. And then the next one on the other side, like that. And then you just keep repeating. You're doing really good. <laughs> good spacing. 
very accurate. Awesome. Two thumbs up. And then the next step, you repeat the bottom layer. So you just keep adding dominoes on top. Oh, this one looks so cool at the end. Yep. Building 3D is one of my favorite things to do. You can do so many like awesome structures and different yeah. shapes. And, like, it just like makes it more exciting when you have stuff that's elevated. Uh huh. So the next step, there are actually two different ways to build a domino wall. The first one is called the column technique, where you would place dominoes on the same side like this, and this would make like a column. This is the column technique, where we're placing these two dominoes on the same side. These two, like that. Audrey is gonna do the alternating method. So instead of placing the dominoes right here, she's gonna place the domino right here. Do that like this? Yep. It's pretty much the same technique, except one is on this row in line with that, and then this one is on a hole of three dominoes. Oh, so I just do that to the opposite side as well? Yep, just like that. What's like the difference? Is it fall different? So for this one, I prefer it when I'm building text because you can read the word better if it's all on one side. When I use this technique, it's usually because I want to make a square end cap. When I do this technique, if I wanted to do a square end cap, I would have to put some like weird slanted dominoes over here. And then sometimes when the wall falls, this end cap won't fall down. And people always think like, oh, it failed because oh, yeah. this last tower didn't fall. So whenever I'm doing a square wall, I use the alternating technique. If I'm not, I'll usually do the calm technique. That's good to know. Those are some great tips. Fix this edge. Yeah, the thing is you want to be like really precise when you're building, especially with structures, because otherwise it could just like lock up and then stop falling. Uh, so half of it will be down, half of it will still be up. Yep, exactly. After that, um, you just keep repeating the pattern. So another layer of horizontal dominoes like this. Gosh, it would take me like twice the time. <laughs> He's like, do, do, do. Oh my God. It's okay, you're doing really good though. First day of building dominoes, you're doing amazing. And then, yeah, you just keep repeating. But this time, you're gonna put it right there. It's like a pyramid. Yeah, it's exactly like that. That's gonna be cool. Last domino. Wait, did I do mine right? <laughs> oh, okay, actually no, you didn't. You never want to have a domino in line with each other. So take those off. If I put this here, oh, yeah. you know it's right when you have a gap of three dominoes in between. So for example, one, two, three in this gap. Okay, all right, so I'm almost there. Yes, domino. Yes. Yeah. Yay! So how do we knock it, knock down? it down? Okay, so. To knock it down, you take the end side and you do a domino line right in the middle. This Maybe like one centimeter from that um, horizontal one and right in the middle of it. So for example, I wouldn't put it like right here because then it would just hit this domino. Oh, yeah. And you don't want to put it right here because then this could just slide this way and not actually knock oh. down the wall. But once you have it right in the middle, you just take another domino and make a domino line. And I would recommend, um, before you curve it, do at least maybe three dominoes that are straight. And then if you want to turn it, then you can do that. Okay. That'll just make sure that when you knock it down, you'll have a direct hit that's like straight forward to the wall, just to be safe. So do I need to okay. make it further apart? No, you're, you're actually pretty good. That's okay. like, maybe like a little bit closer here. Oh, okay. But yeah, just, that's perfect. perfect. Okay. And then to knock it down, you just hit the first domino. Ready? Three, two, one. Yay! Woo! That was so cool! Yeah. And you might get this where the last piece doesn't fall. And this is actually really common, so if that happens, then just don't worry about it. Awesome. Yeah, nice I job. love that. <laughs> I'm surprised that actually fell down. I was like, oh no, yeah. that piece is not straight. <laughs> that was good. The third trick is called the split. Ooh. And this one's pretty simple, but like you gotta be mindful of where you place the domino. Right. So to do this, you wanna make a triangle with three dominoes, like that. And then the third one, this is really important to do this trick, um, you wanna put it in between each domino. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh my gosh. So what I mean by that is 
If you look really close, the stano is on the inside. This is gonna make it so this can pop outward. If I were to put the domino right here and it's toppling in this direction, it would just hit the side of it and push it this way. So you wanna make sure whatever the direction that you're toppling it, this is on the inside of the ones around it. So I guess you can kind of test it if you just move it. Yeah, you could, but I wouldn't recommend doing that in a, in a real setup because you might push it a little bit too much. Oh. Yeah. So is this going to hit full? Yep, that's perfect. After that, you just continue the pattern. I can have one right here, take my other two, put it around it. Wow, so you're giving lots of triangles. Yep, pretty much. Another one could go right here. I find it helpful if you take the first domino, you place it, and then you take two hands and then Put set it right two. here so you can make it like exactly a triangle if you wanted to. You don't have to like fidget around. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Do we just go wherever we want with this? Yep. Yeah, you can make triangles off of any of them, but just keep in mind if I put a triangle right here, this one might hit it as oh, well. So early. It's too close. Yeah. You could have it, it might work, um, but definitely like do some tests before you actually like do it for real. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> see ya. I'm glad that I didn't topple everything over. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hope this one actually works. <laughs> oh yeah. Hope mine works. I think yours will, but. To trigger this, again, you just do a domino line wherever you put the first one. And you don't have to start at the end for this. You just put it in the middle and knock down both. What do you mean by that? Like, like you don't have to start here. You could do oh, it here. You have to start it right there. If you started it right there, um, it the placement wouldn't. Work. Yeah, it wouldn't work because oh. this domino is in the middle of these two. So, if you did it like right here, that's blocking the domino, and it wouldn't work. Oh, okay. Let's knock this one down. Yay! Three, two, one. Perfect! Yeah. Awesome! That was actually job. like smooth. It all went down. The next trick is called a crossover, which means you can have a domino line go this way and then cross through. Oh, it's so, like a loop. Yeah, it's kind of like a loop. And the technique that I use for this, it's pretty simple. Another horizontal domino, and then you put one on top, but you want to shift it over just a tiny bit. So for example, this one is shifted over to the left. That means this is the start and this is the end. So it's gonna go that way. Oh, okay. You wanna place the end one just a little bit past where the edge is. You don't want it to be touching and you don't want it to be like way out here. Just a little gap in between this domino and the horizontal domino. That's pretty good. Yep. Yay. <laughs> and then for this one, I like to do a domino um, with this much in, in between. So for example, if I were to put like a domino right here, it should be that far away. This is the start, so I'm just gonna build it a little bit longer. When I build it, it'll go something like this. So the next step is to do the one that's perpendicular. So you want it to be in line with this edge right here. That corner is in line with the end of this domino. When this falls, it's gonna push this one that way. That's why I'm not putting it in the middle because when it falls this way, it'll line up in the middle oh, for it to topple, if wow. that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then you want to do the same thing on this side, making sure that this line, this domino corner is lined up with that. As a general rule, I would do two dominoes before starting to curve it because you want, you want a direct hit. Oh, did that almost fall? <laughs> Careful. <laughs> yeah, so you want a direct hit when it does this. If it turns a corner, it might not fling this and hit the next one. So at least two before you curve just it. Just to be safe. Yep, and same with this one as well. To curve it, you just connect it and angle these dominoes a little bit. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> it's like a full circle. Yep, but on the curves, you wanna make sure it's You're not angled to. that much. Maybe like that. Yeah, it's more yeah. That's good. Yay. So when this topples, it'll push this to go that way, hit this domino, this will be shifted over in the middle, and then it'll reach this one. All right, let's knock this down. Yes. Three, two, one. Yeah. Yay! That was 
was so cool. Because they all went at the same time. Yeah, it was like a wave. Like, yeah. yeah. Very nice. This is actually easier than I thought it would be. I'm glad. <laughs> These tutorials would really help like a beginner. Yeah. And like you definitely. can build along with it. So mm -hmm. yeah, if you want to try this out as we're building, definitely feel free. And then send me pictures of whatever you do. Yes. Tweet me, yeah, at Hevish5. <laughs> the next trick, I don't think it has a name, but it's a 90 degree turn trick. So you can have a domino line go this way and directly this way without actually having to angle the dominoes. Cool. Yeah. All right, let's learn. So first, you just start with a normal domino line. We should come up with a cool name for this. <laughs> but I didn't invent it though, that's the thing. Um, it's usually the people who invent it name it, but I don't know who invented it. Oh, that's true. Maybe we could come up with our own yeah. and then name it. <laughs> Once you have the domino line, the next step is to take a domino and put it perpendicular to this one. And you want to do usually like a domino with a part. So this is one domino with the part. And then the next step, you take a domino and put it one domino with the part. Right in the middle. Yep. Right in line with this one. And then very carefully, you just tip it over so it's leaning. Oh, careful. The other way. Yep. All right. Next domino, place it right on top so that this is flush with this. So for example, right there. It'll make a 90 degree corner. Another one on top, right here. Oh my gosh. Oh, uh -oh. <gasps> careful. It moved back. Yep. Okay. You want that leaning down in there. That is crucial for this trick. Your hands are so steady. <laughs> I need to use like two. <laughs> the more you build, the steadier your hand Wait, will get. How though. did you do that? So angle down now. <laughs> I'm using a different knob now. Okay. <laughs> uh, what has on my mind? I'm just kidding. I don't know if it does, but. You might need to do a little bit more than one domino with the part for it to stay. And then carefully, very carefully, the standing domino, which should be in line with the one underneath. The finishing touch. Yep. There you go. Yeah, okay. you got it. Okay. And then to continue, you just make a domino line. You know what? I like this part. This <laughs> one's yeah. pretty easy. <laughs> this domino line will fall, and because there's no more support underneath, this domino falls down, and then because it's angled, it'll kind of shift this way and cause it to move that way. Wow. And the domino on top, um, it helps to keep the flow of the dominoes falling. It's kind of like hard to explain, but like once this, this support falls, this one will shift down, and it'll help knock down this angled domino. So if you didn't have that, it wouldn't work? It might, but like, it's a little just bit risky. Safety. Yeah, just, just for safety, I like to do this. Three, two, one. Perfect. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, it's cool, like how it fell. Yeah, and if you want, you could do like multiple ones. So it could be like, angle this way, this way, do a bunch of zigzags, Whoa. like a whole bunch of tricks. Designs. Yeah. So those were all the five tricks. And now we're gonna use all those tricks in one giant setup. Oh, yep, let's get building. So we just finished the setup. There are probably maybe like 600 dominoes. Use all the bags. Yep, and we're about to knock it down. Oh, ready? <laughs> I'm so excited. You do the honor. Oh man, thanks. <laughs> but before we yeah, get wait, wait. Wait, wait. Yeah, wait, wait. The cameras are Yeah. Oh, that would have been bad. Oh, oh, oh don't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Yeah, keep going. Ooh, that one failed too. I'll just knock it. Yep. There we yeah. go! I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, it did fail a couple of times, but you know, it's okay. We're learning and it's gonna happen. It's still cool nonetheless. <laughs> yep. We did another video on Audrey's channel. Do you want to explain that? Yes, we did the Domino's Pizza Challenge. So we had all these weird toppings we put on Domino's Pizza. You should check it out. Cricket. Oh! <laughs>
kind of weird and a little bit gross. Yeah, it was funny. Very <laughs> funny. Be sure to subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you next Saturday. Bye! Bye.